Don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. That's President Trump's message to Americans about the coronavirus after being released from the hospital tonight. Good evening. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. The president returned to the White House early this evening, and he's getting scrutiny for taking off his mask. And there are still unanswered questions about his condition. Our report tonight from Alice Barr at Walter Reed Medical Center. The world's most watched COVID patient tonight walking out of Walter Reed Medical Center and minutes later arriving back at the White House, taking off his mask for a star-spangled photo op, downplaying serious concerns about his recovery and about the virus itself. And now I'm better and maybe I'm immune. I don't know. But don't let it dominate your lives. Get out there. Be careful. We have the best medicines in the world. But the doctors who will continue to treat the president say he will still need careful monitoring. Though he may not entirely be out of the woods yet, the team and I agree that all our evaluations, and most importantly, his clinical status, support the president's safe return home. Doctors saying he continues to improve after a delayed acknowledgement that his oxygen levels had dropped twice in recent days and that he's now taking a steroid typically only recommended for seriously ill patients in the hospital. At the same time, questions remain about the scope of the outbreak inside the White House. Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany and two top assistants today joining the list of several high-level staffers testing positive. And now concerns that the president's return puts even more White House workers at risk. I mean, here's a person who has active COVID, who is infectious with a disease that is transmitted by aerosol, who is allowing people to come that close to him. Tonight, a show of strength from a president facing scrutiny for both the messages he's sending about COVID-19 and the ones he isn't. Though President Trump says that he wants to get back on the campaign trail soon, his doctor said today his viral load needs to get knocked down so that he's not spreading the virus to other people. In some cases, that can take up to 10 days. From Walter Reed Medical Center, Alice Barr, NBC News.